Hi, uh, welcome back to um, working on your portfolio. Um, I'm sending across a few more uh, websites to talk about portfolio production. But the one thing that I'm also going to talk about a bit here is um, uh, some basics, kind of like um, setting up a... Uh, um, so, when we were talking about um, the basic the the basic portfolio structure. By the way, this is just one of my um, one of the other ones here. Let's see here. Let's just go to here. Right. Okay. So let's just um, nope. That's the first one. Let's talk about the second one and but yep that's kind of it okay so um, actually what we wind up talking about here with a um, with the website is really kind of this about um, take sorry take a look at the first uh, tutorial um, you know, this about these galleries, um, contact stuff, and, um, and the stuff you would put on your front page. Um, I'm going to give something about um, putting material on your front page. Um, but the one thing I wanted to talk about are a couple, a couple of different things. So let's um, actually, I'm going to just get you a template and um, this will just be kind of easy. <coughs> um, so what we're lo what we're looking at here, let's take a look at the uh, pages. Okay. So what I'd be, what I would probably do here is the following. Um, I would probably do this. I would add a page and call this galleries, and then I would do things like this. Right? So, and this guy has some photo albums, which is fine. So let's just take a look at what he's got here as far as his nature area is, is, concern, is concerned. Not bad. Kind of your basic, um, you know, your ba your basic kind of um, set of um, pieces. Nice. It has info, my site, um, contact, copyright, and uh, social media. Great stuff. So, no, I mean, there's uh, another thing that we could uh, probably do as well. Um, let's take a look and see what his um, albums look like. So, um, in this case, let's just preview this. So what happens is that one thing that you can do... Um, Instead of having the um, instead of having just a um, um, you know a set of images up under a gallery, you can have what you call like an index image, and then 
you open up a um, you open up an album. So this does two things. What you can do is that you can have a description of you can have a description of um, you know what a body of work is, and then what if people are interested in it, into, in it, they can go in, they can look in the album, they can go deeper. So this is um, this is one really good way to do this. Another thing that's great here is you've got a, a, a quick like thing. Um, so you can get an idea of some of the metrics of what people um, are looking at as far as your work is concerned. Um, let's see here. Let me take another look at another, another site here is that um, there's, um, let's take a, take a look at another template. Um, so there's something that's, um, that I kind of like is that so in, K, in in this case what we have is that we have something that you have the date and the time a little description you can go look at more or you can click on the um, you can click on that and that'll give you a discussion or Thing is, is that you can you'll get a set of um, a set of exhibitions, a quick note on it, and a gallery. So there are a number a number of different ways to number of different ways to do this. Remember that uh, in this case, there's um, you know and um, about art, some other things, and contact. Basically, really what you have is you have sort of have like your, your bio and CV, and you have your bio and CV, you have your galleries, you have maybe something else that uh, gives more context onto your work, but, and then contact. And then on every page, you have um, the ability to contact the artist, uh, which is always good and then um, because you want you basically there's something that they call uh, the um, the call to action on your uh, audience you know always trying to get get them to get in touch with you because that's either where the conversation starts or where they buy some work or give you a contract or just something you know and this is what you want so that's kind of you know where we're at with these these sorts of things so um, and just for reference, I will um, just go in here and just say, uh, how do we um, how do we work on some of these things? Well, I mean, what you could do is that you could let's just go over here to. Let's add a page. And um, let's call this an album. And then let's just uh, so, and then what you can do is that then you can add a gallery. You can add like a standard gallery, grid gallery, a slider gallery, or more types of galleries. So the thing is, is that remember, what you want to do is that you want to basically keep your, keep your bodies of work consistent and show the best piece of work, give some context on it, don't try to show everything all at the same time. Make sure that people understand your work and you get them into it.
quickly and concisely. And really, um, I'm going to let you work over the weekend on this, and then um, I'm going to talk about professional practices on next Sunday. And then, um, then we'll just, uh, a lot of this is just a lot of, you know, pretty straightforward work. So if you have any questions, let me take a look at your site and we will um, keep going forward. Okay, thanks a lot.